chat and catch up, or do you want to play a game? Hello. Today we're having a look at a new fascinating toy that speaks to children, allows them to answer, and what the child says is recognized, responded to, and remembered by the doll to make more lifelike conversation. Uh, and do you want to draw on the front of the card? Or should we use a picture from a magazine? Maybe draw. Fun! A picture drawn by you! That would be so special! So, what are you going to write inside the card? I love you, Mom and Dad. Oh, that's so perfect. As long as we're talking about family, let's make a game of it. The appeal to children is great, but the toy has been under fire for a while because the conversation is uploaded via the internet to be interpreted and stored, and so there's much concern about privacy and hacking. The other problem is that the doll uses Wi-Fi to connect to the internet. And that means this device emits electromagnetic radiation, like a mobile phone, a tablet, or a wireless baby monitor does. To make it worse, the child has to hold it for it to work. And so the source of radiation is very close to the body, and often the head as the child pulls in the toy to clearly speak to it. Hello, you look very happy. What's new with you? It's a brand new day. There's much research on radiation affecting health, and often at levels that are only a fraction of the allowable exposure standards set by government. GeoVital has been dealing with the bad results of radiation exposure for over 30 years, and with a background as a natural health clinic in Austria, we are fast becoming a global authority on how to deal with domestic radiation in a meaningful way to protect or aim to restore health and well-being. You can check out our website and subscribe to our newsletter, YouTube channel, Facebook pages to be kept posted on this subject. People should, in our opinion, and that of many others, uh, minimize their exposure to radiation, including Wi-Fi. This is uh, even more important with children. Uh-oh, I can't find a Wi-Fi network. People around the world are waking up to this fact, and in some countries, advertising mobile phones to children, or even the use of wireless devices by under two-year-olds is prohibited. And doctors and scientists are publicly speaking out about the dangers of EMF radiation. We thought people would be interested to actually see the invisible radiation that a toy like this exposes us to. So shortly, you will see some footage of a child playing with the doll. This child is inside a shielded room which protects her <coughs> from high levels of radiation from cell phone towers, as they are now in every town and city, uh, from Wi-Fi and internal wiring uh, and lots more. We wanted to minimize the uh, influence of uh, outside sources on the readings. Uh, now, of course, we did need Wi-Fi to make the doll work, so we put a mobile phone with a Wi-Fi hotspot turned on about 6 meters 20 feet away outside the room, but in such a place that it could still reach the doll through the open door. As you watch this footage, notice how the readings kind of drop to a rough baseline value when the doll speaks and shoots up when the child speaks or shortly after she lets go of the talk button. Yes. Oops, sorry. Remember to hold down the button the whole time you're talking, then let go when you're finished. Can you try and say that again? One would expect that this is the time when the doll uploads the recorded voice to the internet. Most research refers to air measurement when it comes to radiation levels uh, and their cause for concern. So in the beginning, we will show you those air measurements. GeoVital has learned over time that it makes more sense to assess the body of a patient rather than the air to find out if the body is under stress. So we do that whenever possible and you will also see this body assessment being done. For this, you will see the child hold on to a small contact aerial, and effectively, her body then is the aerial. The difference between the two values of the devices can't really be compared, but both show, in our opinion, great cause for concern. The level shown may very well be under the government, governmental limits, and so parents and schools and toy manufacturers should really investigate themselves the available research. Lots of that you can find on our website and make their own decisions if exposing a child is worth the potential risk. 
dealing with radiation at home and especially the bedroom where the body is meant to rest and regenerate is extremely important, especially for those with chronic health concerns and children. If we can be of assistance, we'd be delighted to help you. This allows you to paint that area underneath. What most people don't realize is that mobile phone towers. That entire area is affected by the directional transmitter that's actually communicating with that tower. And put a shielding paint on the wall. You don't want to use a phone roll. Matter of fact, 95% of those circuit cutter switches installed without consultation are installed incorrectly and there's no benefit. So, what do you think we should do first? Should we play a game or talk? Some jokes. Lots of money. It's all about the success and the awards, is it? Okay, so what would you win your big Nobel Prize in medicine for? What did you say? Ask her. What did you say? She did say whenever you want some jokes, did that? Oh, hi there! Okay, this is going to sound silly, but I was just daydreaming about cupcakes. <laughs> Do you like cupcakes? Yes. Right now, what would you wish for? 
a big, big house. Oh, that's a beautiful wish. So, what do you think causes a shooting star? Uh, is it fun to play with? Yes. Is it good at it makes radiation? No. I could spend 10,000 hours with this thing.